Greetings everyone, future feature film director, the rookie critic here, and today I'm going to be talking about how Jason David Frank, the man most known to be the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, the two Red Rangers from Zeo and Turbo, and the Black Dino Ranger, this dude has played as so many different Rangers, he's also done some fan films as a Power Ranger, and freaking, he's one phenomenal dude, Jason David Frank has been, ever since the start of COVID, he's been trying to do things to bring some type of sanity to people's lives, bring some type of enjoyment to make them happy, and one of the things he's done is visit comic shops to get people to go there and participate, and the proceedings that he's doing would go to support some of the comic shops. Now, of course, a lot of people that are in my community that I know of and that are in Comicsgate uh, don't think that this will save anything uh, with comics, and I agree. I don't think that his efforts are really going to save the comic shops, but as for perhaps the individual ones that he goes and sees that are struggling, maybe this will help them stay afloat for a little bit longer, and for that, I mean, that's good enough. He's trying, and that's what I think counts right here. Whether or not it's going to be fruitful, he is trying, and I really appreciate that. This man is a fan's man because he all he does is care about the fans. He, he will go out of his way to make a fan happy. He will gladly take pictures with them, gladly do autographs with them, gladly try to put inspirational stuff up for them to try to aspire to. He has bought a karate school. He has learned karate his whole life. He has taught young kids for many years how to do karate. He impresses me big time with his behavior. He never gets into huge beefs with people online or with any drama. The only drama that there has been with him has been with Jean-Claude Van Damme. And if you guys want to see more information about that, I did a video talking about all these extra things about him that not that many people know of. And send this video and yeah, go check that out. But anyway, I'm going to look at a few things that he's done here since the start of COVID. And I'm going to put my sunglasses on that are prescription so that I don't have my face against the screen like an old lady trying to read that. So you can see him here taking a picture with a fan at a comic shop and uh, he's also making it clear to social distance and to wear the masks and everything as he's going there. He wants people to be safe and you know whether or not people agree with that, uh, with it actually being effective or not, he's trying to. That's what he's doing and trying to make sure people don't get sick. So good enough for me with what he's doing. I'm sure that comic shops during these times, it's really tough to get people to want to go in there, especially in these times, so having him there I think is a good idea, and you got him here taking a picture with the kid with the Red Ranger helmet, and that's pretty cool. Now, this article was updated on July 30th, there is another one that I'll look at in a sec that has him for a more uh, recent uh, time coming up here, but they got a quote from him that says, <clears throat> This was a concept that hit me called PPP, the Power Ranger Protection Program. I wish that I could save the world, but I could try. Comics were a big part of my life. I sold my whole collection when I was 18 to buy my first karate school. I want to help raise some money for comic shop owners. It's gonna <clears throat> It's not going to cost them a thing to bring me in. I am donation. A big portion of the proceeds are to help them. I see everything turning digital. There's nothing like a good old-fashioned paperback comic. Safety is the number one priority. I myself need to see people stay sane. What better place to spend my time? A place that earned me an entrepreneur. <sighs> yeah, man. Uh, he's trying to make sure that we're entertained, to make sure that fans are kept happy and have some type of light of hope in their times and needs like this. So I think that what he's doing is great. Again, even if it won't legitimately help the comic book shops in the long run he's at least given them something in the short term at least given them something fun to talk about uh, over the weekend it looks like his next appearance the most recent one that he'll be doing next will be at zia comics on october 10th so if anybody's in that area of where zia comics is i'm sorry i don't see where it's listed on here but they do have a youtube video on their page that i think says where the location of zia comics is uh, so, or no, it says it right here. It says, uh, 125 North Main Street, Las, uh, Cruces, uh, N, M, 8, O, you can read it right here. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know exactly where that is, but if you guys are, again, go check that out. For those of you that want to know more about Jason David Frank, he does have a YouTube channel that I recommend that you subscribe to and then I will leave a link in the description below or I'll have a little taggy thingy up here for you guys to click on. And he posts inspirational poems. He has some video from him backstage working on projects and studios. He's got interviews uh, that he's interviewed and interviewed other people. 
And when COVID started, he was interviewing some old Power Rangers cast members. He had uh, Wes, the guy who played Wes from the... Uh, the guy who played the Red Ranger, Wes, from Power Rangers Time Force, he had uh, two of the actresses, I forget which ones, I think it's the one who played Cat, and I, I'm forgetting uh, the other one's name, uh, there's a couple of them, so I don't remember, it's either Aisha, or it's the other one that came after her, which I'm just forgetting the name right now, uh, it's been a little while since I saw that, and yeah, he's... <clears throat> He's even got an interview with Chris Sabat and Sean Schemmel from Dragon Ball. He's got an interview with an old cast member from Bloodshots, or from the Ninjak vs. Valiant universe, where Jason played as Bloodshot. Those of you might know of the Vin Diesel Bloodshot in the movie that came out not too long ago, but Jason David Frank also played as Bloodshot in Ninjak vs. Valiant universe for a company which... I don't know if it's like a fan film one or if it was a legitimate movie, but they they have the whole thing available on YouTube. So I don't really know. I think it was supposed to help advertise their comics for the Valiant comics, but I don't know the full information on that at the moment. I might look into that at some time. But it was a really cool movie considering what type of budget it might have been, and I don't know if they even really made profit off of it. Jason can do his own stunts. He's been He's got like 40 years of martial arts expertise under his belt, and this dude will... <laughs> to, <laughs> he will deliver on an action scene. That is what I'll tell you. Tom Cruise might be able to do some of the intense uh, stunts, but, you know, Jason can do his own choreography. One last thing before heading out here is that a little while ago, they launched a Kickstarter campaign for a fan film called Legend of the White Dragon. And as I know of right now, I think they're currently producing it, but here's a little taste of it so you guys can have an idea if you guys want to see this type of thing in the future. And I will try to update some future projects that he gets involved with because this dude does so freaking much. He does a lot of fan-made stuff and I uh, just can't get enough praise for him. Let's take a look at this real quick. I got eyes. Don't move. Let me see your hands. If I get copyright, that's all right on this, honestly. I'm just trying to get this video out for him. Easy. Oh, no. Uh, don't move. I don't know the context of the entire thing here, Cover but still. Me. Already on it. You can kind of tell their, right there. their color schemes and everything. Oh, yeah. Boom, baby. He's not even morphed yet. Not even morphed. <laughs> And you'll see somebody here that you'll recognize from another. You'll see some people that you might recognize. Why are you hiding? Why won't you join the fight? Boom, bitch! I've lost everything. They've taken everything from me. I don't know the context of the film yet, so I have no idea what the conflict is. Yeah, they're just testing him, you're making not the sure... the only one who's lost something. Making sure he's not a clone, I guess. Adam! Adam from Mighty Morphin, that replaced Zach. We've all made sacrifices. She's from, I forget which series, and that's Wes. What do you want? From Time Force. You were the key. She's been in a few of the t of the fan the film stuff. She's been in some fan film we stuff too. We finally with found something to help us restore balance. That's been good. The white dragon crystal. You Your know energy. he was he was the dragon Your sword, the Green Ranger the one. He was the Dino Thunder then Black. Because we had to make sure you weren't a clone. And now he's got the white dragon, baby. You're wasting your time. Wasting your time. I have nothing left to fight for. She's alive! Uh-oh. Kimberly? Your daughter. Oh, her daughter. Okay, never mind. She's alive. Never mind. I forgot. It's been a while since I saw this. <laughs> so what's your wife would have wanted? You hit the nerve, he man. He has her at his citadel. If you're, you're lying to me, you'll be the first one to come after. Oh, shit. If I'm not... Found a reason to fight. Take it. Yeah. Dun dun dun, baby. Dun dun dun. It's morphin' time, baby. White Dragon! Power 
Power Ranger fans. Oh, yes, love this. So <laughs> that's the end of the video right here. Uh, you guys have a great one. Uh, check out more Jason David Frank stuff. He's a great dude. And see you later.